The stream, I'm Brad Edwards with the first snow of the season falling today. It's totally reasonable to start thinking about traveling elsewhere. Here for our weekly travel update is CBS travel editor and our good friend of the stream, uh, Mr. Peter Greenberg. Uh, Peter, where are you right now? I am in Kigali, the capital city of Rwanda, oh. right here in Africa. I should have guessed. Where in the world is Peter Greenberg? What are you doing there? I'm actually here attending the World Travel and Tourism Council Global Summit. This is sort of like the G20 of travel, where you have heads of state, tourism ministers, and Fortune 500 CEOs all convening to talk about the largest industry in the world. And that's where I'm getting some of my stories. So hopefully I'll be able to tell you some more when I see you next week. In the G20 of travel. That's remarkable. All right, so let's begin with travel updates uh, from the Middle East. Uh, cruise lines are scrapping stops in the region over rising tensions. This includes places like Egypt, Saudi Arabia, uh, the UAE. Uh, when cruises or flights cl cancel your plans, um, why do you recommend people get refunds over vouchers or credits? Well, let's first talk about cruises. Anybody who goes on a cruise signs a contract, and in that contract, the cruise line has the right to substitute ports in the event of an act of war or a force majeure. So that's a little bit less problematic for the cruise line, more problematic for you in terms of getting a refund. But if an airline cancels your flight entirely or even moves it back six hours, which, by the way, is definition of a cancellation, under U.S. Department of Transportation rules, you are entitled to a full and complete refund immediately back to your original form of purchase. So people need to know that. That's where they get into trouble because the airlines don't always volunteer this. They're offering credit vouchers or future flight credits. That's like the bad draconian gift card. No, you, we're not in the business of giving interest-free loans to the airlines. Yeah, Conversely, yeah, though, is. if you cancel the flight, then the airline does not, is not responsible for giving you money back. In many cases, of course, because of uh, they've waived the change fees, you do get a credit on your account, but then you got to use it. Yeah, that is a good way of putting it, getting them an interest-free loan. So with uh, travel demand trending downward, uh, plenty of deals to be found. But in your show, Eye on Travel, this week, you talked about uh, code sharing. Explain what that is for the unaware, uh, the lay like me, and why it's uh, the thing to do when looking to, to for example, save money on a flight. Well, many airlines are members of strategic marketing alliances, like American is part of the One World Alliance. United is, is Star Alliance, Delta Airlines is Sky Team. And the Star Alliance has maybe 23 or 24 different airlines involved. So in the same thing with American and the One World Alliance, you could have one flight listed as an American airline flight that has 14 other uh, flight numbers listed for other airlines, but it's the exact same flight. So let me give you an example of how you can save some money. We were just researching last week a one-way fare from London to Los Angeles. And we went to British Airways online. Guess what they wanted? Get ready, $2,700 for a one-way coach ticket. Hmm. So we figured, wait a minute, who do they coach share with? Well, they coach share with Finnair, with Royal Jordanian, with American, with Iberia, and many other carriers. So we went on their websites, and guess what? Iberia had a flight leaving at the exact same time as British Airways flight from London to Los Angeles, and the fare and coach, $700. Guess what? It was the exact same flight. It's operated by British Air. So each of these airlines wow. has different inventory that's given to them by the primary carrier, and they may price it completely differently. So don't just go with the first offering you see online from the primary carrier. Find out who they code share with and see what they're selling the exact same flight for. And if you do what we did, you saved about $2,000. I mean, let's get in the weeds about this. How do you find out who, who's code sharing with who and what the code is? Or you don't need to know Easy. The code, go just... online. What? No, you go online to OneWorldAlliance.com or StarAlliance.com or SkyTeam.com, and they will list every airline that's a member of that alliance. So you actually, you know, you looked at British Airways. It was a one-way flight for two grand plus, and you found out that its partner, its alliance partner, Joe's airline, we'll call it, whatever it is. It was 700 bucks. Like, right, ex for the exact same plane, for the exact, exact same seat. Exact same seat. Exact same exact schedule. Remarkable. So it's Halloween, uh, after all, and uh, you've been just about everywhere. Do you have a favorite, best, spookiest place? Have you ever been to, like, Vlad the Impaler's uh, castle in Romania? Or any, any, you can any, always go to, look. <laughs> you can always go to Transylvania, but yeah. you don't have to do that. Just go to New Orleans after dark. Yeah. I mean, 
every cemetery is above ground. Wait till the sun sets. Have fun. I'm telling you, half the hotels in New Orleans are haunted anyway. So it's not just Halloween. It's all year round. It's the crazy gift that keeps on giving. It really is. And we'll leave you on those words. Uh, Mr. Greenberg, safe travels there at the uh, Travel Summit of Travel Summits. Uh, joining us on this Travel Tuesday, uh, happy Halloween stateside. We will see you again and figure out where you are again uh, one week from today. See you then, sir. You got it, Brett.